Hi guys and welcome back. This is Isa from Printstick and in this video I will show you how you can use digital stickers from Printstick in any note-taking app. Now I will show you two methods. Method number one will require you to have good notes installed. So that means that you will have your preferred note-taking app, call it Notability, Note Shelf or Zoom Notes. Those are the ones that I have personally tested. I believe this method will work with any other note-taking app out there, but those are the ones that I personally tested, just so you know. So you will need your app that you prefer plus good notes and method number two i will show you how you don't need good notes at all so that will save you a few dollars because you can use only the app that you already have again notability note shelf or some notes and this method will work with any sticker pack that you find at my shop because every single one of them includes the same file format so let me show you first i want to show you how to get the sticker so this is the shop here you have a section that says digi stickers and widgets you click there and this is all of the stickers and widgets that you have available to purchase okay now i will use the fall bundle as an example so i'm going to tap there if you want to use this same bundle then you complete your purchase and after you complete your purchase you'll have access to the download links so i'm going to show you what that looks like these are the files that you get in this particular download so the first file comes in .goodnotes.zip format and that file is actually to be imported directly into GoodNotes and it's ready to be used. I will show you how that works. The second file is all of the elements saved as individual PNG files with a transparent background. So they are stickers that you can use in any other app, okay? That's why this one is important. However, this one that ends in .zip, that means that it's a compressed file and you need to unzip it before using it. And I will show you how you can do that as well. And lastly, you have the album in PDF format. That means that it's a blank album. So you would use these two files in any other app that is not GoodNotes. So you would have your uh, blank album and then once you unzip and access all of these stickers, you save to your camera roll and then you start adding them to your album, okay? And then the final result will be the same as this one, but for whichever app that you're using that is not GoodNotes. I hope it's not too confusing. So I'm gonna start with the GoodNotes file. I'm gonna tap there. This takes me to a site that says Go Getsy. So that's what it says here at the top bar. And then I have I have it set to open in GoodNotes automatically because I've done this in the past. But if you don't, you tap on this arrow here on the top right corner, and then you scroll until you find GoodNotes. Then this is the folder where I want it, so I'm just gonna click on Import. If it's not the folder that you want, you can click on Change Location and select the folder where you want it. Import. And this is what I mean when I say that these files are ready to be used in GoodNotes. This is all interactives. This album will work with links, which when you get the PDF, the blank PDF that you can use in other apps, it will also be interactive. So that part is the same. But the difference here is that you have these labels. These are actually also stickers that you can reposition or, you know, replace. And then you have the links, so you jump to the pages. And what's good about this file is that you have all of these ready to be used. So let me grab my Apple Pencil. You can just select a sticker and it's going to be already, you know, pre-cropped and you can use it in any page of your planner. All right, so method number one, you will have this album ready in GoodNotes and you will use this alongside the note-taking app that you're using. For example, Notability. So I'm going to open this. I have my color planner loaded here. Um, let's go to a blank page, let's say here, and I want to add stickers from my GoodNotes album. So I'm just going to bring this bar up. And if you don't have GoodNotes here or the app that you're looking for, all you have to do is open the app and that's going to make it be one of the last apps you use because that's what these here are and then you will be able to see it okay so i go back to notability bring my bar up so i just swipe up from the bottom here of my ipad then i tap and drag the icon to the right or left and then i'm going to actually grow this so that i have it side by side exactly um half of the screen or you can also make it bigger i think that half is the best size that i can use right now okay and then you can just look for the sticker that you want this is for the fall so it's kind of like halloween and stuff all right so i can use these boxes let's say i want this one so i just use my pencil create a selection on top of the sticker so that's my lasso tool up here yeah and then tap on that selection click on copy now 
tap and hold on your page in Notability and then paste, okay? And just like that, you have your sticker ready to use. So now here you can rotate, you can resize, okay? Just like you would any other sticker. And now you can also crop in case that you want it. You could just, you know, make it half or something like that. But I don't want that right now. And then to move your sticker around, you just tap on it. You use this bar here to move it easier. Of course, you can also zoom in, see what you're doing better. And then you can keep looking for other stickers. Um, let's see, I have some cute drawings here. For example, this corn copy. You just come here, tap and hold, click on paste. And you have your sticker that I'm going to resize and reposition. Okay, okay, so that was method number one and you can do this with other apps as well. So let me just show you, let's go to Noteshelf. So I just tap on it to open the app. All right, so I'm just gonna use this sample notebook here. I'm not going to load anything else for now. So I just swipe up, bring my good notes side to side and then I can copy this same one, which I guess it was copied already, but anyway. And then you tap on this little like square selected here and click on paste, okay? There you have your sticker and then you can come and get a different one here, copy. And then, sorry, I was tapping and holding, but it works differently here. So tap on this icon, paste. Then again, you can resize, reposition, rotate. All right, so method number one, you will use the GoodNotes file, and of course you do need this GoodNotes app as well. So now that's going to take me to method number two. In case you don't want to buy GoodNotes, let's say you just have note shelf and you, know, you don't want to spend again, so you can still use the stickers. I'm gonna go back to Safari here. So here I have my files and this time I will use the, the one that ends in .zip, so the one that contains all of the stickers saved individually as transparent PNGs. Okay, again you get to the go get side and this time as you can see this recognized that this ended in .zip just like the other file that ended in .goodnotes.zip. So this kind of wants to send it to GoodNotes, but no, this time I actually need to use the app iZip. This is free, you can get it from the App Store, I highly recommend it, works really well to unzip any compressed file. So I'm gonna click here on the export icon and I'm gonna scroll until I find iZip, which is this one. I have the pro version, which I think only removes ads and stops asking you so many questions, but the free version works just as well, okay? So when it asks you if it wants to unzip all files, you click OK. And I don't want to rate them right now. And then this is the unzipped folder, okay? So it says PNGs, and now this is all of the elements included in this album. So all of the stickers that you see in the GoodNotes album are here, saved as individual files. Now the great thing about this app is that you can click here, select all of them, okay? So you don't have to do one by one, and then just click on save, which actually right now I don't want to save all of them because it's a ton and I have saved them in the past so I'm just going to select a few ones but just know that you can do all of them okay so this is a preview of each of them but if you tap on the circle you should be able to select one by one so for example I want to go kind of by sets so right now I'm actually just going to select the ones to belong to the Halloween set so I'm just going to tap on all of these or several you guys can do all, as I said, I'm just not, you know, I don't want to take as long. So that's enough. And then I click on save at the bottom right here. And what that did is it saved all the elements to my camera roll. And that is super helpful because in method number two, we will use only our app. So let's say we use Zoom Notes. Now I will actually import a album that I have on my phone. I'm just air dropping it. So I'm just going to tap on Zoom, note, Zoom Notes here import as document there you go so this is my blank album same thing i will just add my stickers the png stickers that i just saved i can add them to this album so i'm just going to bring my photos app this time and as you can see these are all of the stickers that i saved from iZip okay so as I said, I'm sorry, this is a different album that is not the full album, so the colors are different from the one you saw in GoodNotes, but it works the same way. So I can just 
tap and drag my sticker and start positioning it anywhere I want on the pages of my album so this one I did already so I just pull any sticker and you can resize it I like to have them the same size but it's not absolutely necessary Zoom Notes is really good it has so many tools for example here it's allowing me to see when I reach that same size and it kind of snaps to that size so that's useful so that's a good thing to know even though I love good notes, I'm never gonna stop loving it, but this is pretty good too. So anyway, this is how you start building your pages. And then when you go to the index here, you can label the sections, whatever you want, and start arranging your pages as you wish. And then this is quite an easy way to start building your own album, really. So this is how you can start adding your stickers to any album using different apps that are not good notes. I really hope you found this video helpful. I know that many out there use apps that are not good notes and once you have your app that you like and you're used to, I of course don't expect you or don't ask you to switch because I know how we can, you know, get attached to the things that we know and we've been using for a while. So this video is to show you that that's fine, you can still use your app and the products of Printstick. I will say though, if you are brand new to digital planning and you're just getting your apps together and deciding what to use, I highly recommend you start with GoodNotes. It's just very user-friendly, simple, straightforward, comfortable to use in my opinion. I mean, I've, as I said, I've tested other ones and for stickers, decorating and everything that revolves around digital planning i think it's the best one so if you're just starting out i recommend get good notes and i have a strong feeling that you will not want another app if you have any questions on how to use the stickers just drop me a comment down below and if you haven't yet don't forget to subscribe to princess channel so you don't miss out on any future videos you can also click on that bell so you get notified whenever there's a new video and if you like the information on this video please give it a thumbs up to let me know thank you so much for watching and see you next time bye bye